Honourable Cecil Jitsai, as the Secretary for Local Government, it's often suggested that MDC councillors are responsible for the poor service delivery in our local authorities. What's your comment and response to this allegation? Uh, thank you, uh, Fadi. Uh, we've got a huge challenge in our local authorities, a uh, challenge of extreme interference from central government. Uh, basically, everything that happens in local authorities is controlled by central government. Whether you look at procurement, central government controls that. Uh, recruitment of staff, central government does the same. Um, the issues of uh, water reservoirs, uh, that's uh, under the purview of Zinwa, which is central government. So, uh, for as long as central government's appetite to interfere is not blunted, you always continue to get uh, poor safety. So, who, for example, is responsible for the allocation of stands? The direct allocation of stands is done by the functionaries, the employed officials, the management structure. So, for example, who are these functionaries? You look at the town clerk, you know, the relevant uh, officers in the housing department, uh, relevant officers in the engineering department. These are the people who do the direct uh, the allocation of stands. So do councillors themselves have the power to directly allocate stands? It's not possible. Councillors will just generally make policy with respect to how they want uh, the housing rate to be reduced. But uh, with respect to the direct kitchen work is done by the members of staff. What about the provision of water? Um, do, does council and do local authorities have the responsibility under the Water Act to provide water? Local authorities do have, but uh, let's look at the water value chain. The value chain starts with uh, raw water in the reservoirs, and this is under the purview of uh, central government. Uh, then our local authorities treat the water and distribute it to the consumers. And is that raw water being provided, for got example, huge, in, got, in Bulawayo? We have got a huge problem with, the, uh, the, with raw water. In Bulawayo, most of their dams are dry. They have to depend on the aquifers, in Epic Forest aquifers, which provide 10 megaliters of water, where something like 60 is required. Uh, they have decommissioned the Inyangun Dam, they have decommissioned the uh, Musingwani Dam, which are the bigger reservoirs for their raw water. So we've got a challenge there, where central government is not playing ball with respect to creating more uh, uh, water reservoirs, more dams. So without this raw water, is there any water then for the local authorities to then treat and deliver to the citizens? In Hawaii, there is a major problem in Gweru. One of their dams is dry now, uh, and the story is the same everywhere. You know, um, in Marondera, you know, the Wenimbe Dam as well is running low. So, biggest problem uh, with the water value, water delivery value chain is more on the reservoir side. Yes, we do have problems with water treatment chemicals, particularly in Harare, uh, where the dam is on the leeward side of uh, uh, the, the city, where all the raw sewage goes to. Uh, the water treatment chemicals are many, eight, they need eight, and they fail to get the required forex. So that's the added problem.